Well, hi there. We're going to be making some really yummy muffins and they are bakery style double chocolate muffin. So I'm going to read all the ingredients and put it in and also it'll be in the description box below. So if you want to make these yummy muffins, make sure you get the recipe from the description below. So hold on so I can pan the camera down and you can see what's going on. Okay, here we go. This is a bowl. We need a large bowl to put all the dry ingredients in. So let's get started. We have two cups of flour. I use King Arthur flour. That's my choice. You just use an all-purpose flour. And then you want to take cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup of that. Mmm chocolate yum yum okay just like that and then we're going to take two and a half teaspoons of baking powder okay we got that right here going in and like I said everything will be in the description box below and then we got a half a teaspoon of baking soda going right in just like that, I get my little tags out here. And then we wanna use salt, half a teaspoon. I use pink Himalayan, but again, that's my choice. That's what I like. And then you want one and a fourth cups of granulated sugar. Okay, just like that. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna incorporate this just kind of mix it up just mix it up like this just like that just kind of blend it all together so that will be like that okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to take another bowl here and we're going to put the wet ingredients in. So we have two eggs right here going in, just like that. I don't have my girls, so I have to go out and buy my eggs now. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Here's one cup of buttermilk, and if you don't have buttermilk, you can take regular milk and put about a, a teaspoon of vinegar in, and it makes it into buttermilk. That's what I did here. So you want to dump that in, just like that. So after you get that done, you want to put your butter in, which is a fourth of a cup of butter. Oh, you can see it right there. So that's going in. And then you want a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil or sunflower oil, whatever you got. Not olive oil though, just like that. And then you wanna take vanilla. I'm using my powdered vanilla. It could have gone in with my mix, but I'm just gonna stick it right in. This is my Mexican pure vanilla that I like, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're just gonna mix this up now, just like this. And then we're gonna take the wet ingredients and we're gonna put it right in here with the dry. Just like that. How easy is that? Can't get any easier than that. And then you just take your mix and you just mix it up. Could have got my mixer out, but I thought I'd use my muscles today. What a little bit of muscles I got. Some days I feel like I got lots. Other days I feel like, oh, I need to eat some spinach and be like Popeye. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna preheat your oven to 425. And you're going to um, cook these muffins for eh, 15 to 20 minutes. Every oven is different, so you need to check as you're cooking your muffins. Get 
my muscles going here. This is when you need one of those robots that will say, stir my batter, please. So he'd, he or she would get right up and stir my batter. Instead of having Alexa so that can't do physical stuff, we need a robot. See, I just became a millionaire and didn't even know it. Okay, it's all mixed up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put about a cup of um, chocolate chips or chocolate chip chunks, whatever you got. About a cup. I've got about a, a half a bag, so we're going to call that good. And then you're just going to mix it up just like this. And this is going to be some good batter, I can tell you that. It's going to be yummy, yummy in this Grammy's tummy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have my muffin pan right here. I'm choosing to use the liners. You can use just your muffin tray and spray, but I'm not. And I like to use um, an ice cream scoop. And I'm looking for the number. I forget the number. Oh, the number is, it's the number 20 if you want to know. Right here on your ice cream scoops, when you buy them, they're numbered. This here is the number 20. And we're just going to fill it up. And it makes um, anywhere, depending on how you make them, can make 12 to 17 regulars as said. And that's what it yields. I like to fill mine right up. So, anyways, I will bring you back. I'm gonna put these in the oven once I fill it. And the oven again is at 425. And we'll see how they're gonna come out. That's what they look like right now. And I'll just fill the pan. We'll be back. Okay, folks, I just wanted to let you know, whoop, I just dropped one. I got them too close. I did a couple of real big jumbo ones, and then the rest I did muffin size pan, but they came out really, really good. And I am going to taste test it and let you know. I used paper on mine right here. It came off very easily. Now, let me see if I can pan the camera up. Hi, here I am right here. I've taken the paper off and I like to use a fork and it's nice and moist. Mmm, very good. I want to show you the inside. Mmm. So, so good. Sorry, I don't like to talk with my mouth full. Please give me a thumbs up because this is a great recipe. Try it out. Make it. Give it out for gifts. Give it to your neighbors. Give it to your friends. And I'm going to sit and have some tea with us because it's so darn good. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm known as Maniac Grammy on Facebook. And with me... You never know what's going to be on my videos. Have a great day. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye now.